Saying that my initial virtual desktop tutorial video did well would be an understatement. It's the first thing that shows up on Google and YouTube search and because a few things have changed since then and that one received so much amazing feedback, an updated version was called for. Without further ado, same drill, your time is priority number one, so let's go. You'll need your Quest or Quest 2 and a VR-ready Windows PC or laptop, so make sure you have both handy. It also works on Mac, but only for desktop streaming and not VR games too. Ugh. First of all, grab your phone and open the Oculus app or head over to the Oculus website and make sure you purchase the Quest version of Virtual Desktop because the Steam one will not work. Once you've done that, install it on your headset and guess what? That's it when it comes to your Quest. Yeah, boy. No more developer mode, no more side quest patch, everything is included directly in the package you've just installed. Neat, right? Now, jump over to your computer and download the Virtual Desktop Streamer app. The link is in the description, right below the subscribe button. Once you've installed it, open it up and put in your Oculus username, then hit save. If you have multiple users, then you can put theirs in there too, but they'll each have to get their own copy of Virtual Desktop on their quests. If you plan on playing VR games wirelessly using Virtual Desktop, and I assume you do, then make sure you also have the Oculus app installed on your computer, since it's required to be able to do that. If you also want to play VR games from Steam VR, then install Steam and Steam VR too. Makes sense, right? Okay, we're almost there. Just a few quick tips to help you have the best experience and then you can go enjoy the amazing world of wireless PC VR. Number one and the most important, your PC should be connected to your router via an Ethernet wire and your Quest should be connected via 5 GHz Wi-Fi to that same router. If both your computer and Quest are on a wireless connection, you might experience stutters or even black borders when you move your head and we don't want that, do we? Now, in the Virtual Desktop Streamer app, you'll notice a few settings. The first thing I recommend doing is selecting H.264 in the preferred codec dropdown. That will help the experience be as smooth as possible, provided of course that you've ensured step 1 is sorted. Also, uncheck automatically adjust bitrate. Time to get your quest now. Strap that hunk of awesomeness to your face, open up Virtual Desktop and you should see your computer's name pop up. Click it and after it connects, press the menu button on the left controller. You should should now see the virtual desktop menu and here you can do things like choose your environment and start games which by the way I recommend starting directly from here instead of double clicking shortcuts on your desktop since they'll be optimized to run as good as possible anyway you'll want to go to the streaming tab first and you should see that the VR graphics quality is already set on a scale from potato to ultra depending on your graphics card if for some reason it's not, make sure to set it to the correct level manually. Next, under Advanced Options, ensure Sliced Encoding is checked. When it comes to frame rate, if you have a Quest 2, it supports up to 120Hz, but I'd recommend starting lower, at 72 or even 60fps and testing out the performance to see how high you can go while still maintaining the quality. This will all depend on your particular setup, so there's no one size fits all. The same goes for bitrate, and the one you want to play around with is the VR bitrate under the streaming tab. As the short description states, higher bitrates will mean better image quality, but also in increased latency. In my experience, you want to shoot for under 30 milliseconds for a very good experience, and of course, the lower, the better. You can see your current latency by bringing up the streamer app on the computer while in the headset, and it'll be right down here. Alright, now go and enjoy your newfound wireless freedom, and if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below, but you'll most likely find the answers in my ultimate virtual desktop Q&A video, which will pop up right about here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers!